Portions of Your California Life contain paid content. Products and services featured are not endorsed by Your California Life. Today on Your California Life, get ready to unlock your inner wisdom as an intuitive healer reveals the secrets to trusting your gut and creating the life you desire. And it's time to pop open the hood and take control of your auto maintenance this summer. We'll get empowered with the knowledge and skills to keep our cars running smooth, especially on those road trips. Plus, don't let the post-graduation slump rain on your parade. We've got the ultimate playbook to help you weather the storm and shine brightly in your post-grad life. Get ready for a YCL Thursday that will have you embracing the rest of the week. Hello and welcome to your California life. I'm your host, Desiree Shepard. Now that they've tossed their graduation caps and folded up their gowns, the class of 2023 has the task of rolling up their sleeves to take on the challenges of the real world. And one of the new obstacles they'll have to overcome, it's what's being called the post-graduation slump. Joining us today is educational thought leader and award-winning author, Karu Papritz, here to share his practical advice on avoiding the quarter-life crisis and embracing life after school. Welcome, Karu. Desiree, it's great to be on the show. Thank you for having me. I'm a proud UC grad, and I'm here to give my fellow grads hope. Yes, well, we need that hope because I even remember graduating from college. It's exciting, but it's kind of like, what am I going to do next? And you kind of want to make sure you have things lined up. So how would you define the post-grad slump and why is it so relevant for the class of 2023? Well, first of all, we got to just sort of change the picture here and not call it a slump. We're going to call it a bump. Why? Because, man, you're, this is the first time you're no one's telling you what to do. You get to own your life. You get to take all the risks and be responsible for where you want to go. So I'm looking at it as a very, very positive thing. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit scary because, you know, like, again, you own your life. Yeah. But one of the things I like to do on a practical level is I'm, I'm a big fan of what I call making a life map. And what's a life map? It's where you sit down with pen and paper. I'm an author. I love pen and paper. I love to be able to hold it and write down what you want to do in the next year, three years, five years, 10 years. And it's sort of um, a way of looking at, hey, this is where I'd like to go. You can change it. You can do anything you want with it, but put it on the wall and look at it. And remember, it's, it's, about, um, it's about walking your talk and it's about dreaming of what the future may be holding for you. So again, just yeah, instead of a instead of a slump, it's a bump. Let's go forward. I like that. I like the positivity. It's a bump. And writing it down, I think, is super helpful as well, too, because then you kind of have something you can look at every day and remind you of what those goals are. Can you share some practical Absolutely. advice for recent graduates on how to maintain that motivation and avoid feeling overwhelmed by the realities of the of the real world and getting over that bump like you mentioned? <laughs> Yeah, so here's another interesting one I find. Every time I'm listening to social media, the news, or whatever the case may be, it's all, oh, your generation's not going to be able to do this or not be able to do this. It's this all woe is me talk. And I'm saying, hey, guys, own your generation. If they say your generation's supposed to walk over a cliff, are you going to follow? No, own it. I mean, what I mean by own it is this is your life. You can do with it what you want, however you want. And... You know, you just were recently in New York City, right? Yes, and how it. amazing New York is and how exciting it is. I love New York because you walk one block, you turn a corner, and all of a sudden you're in a new world. And guess what? This is what post-graduation life is. Take some risks. Yeah. Be curious. Go out there and throw yourself into it. It's your secret power. And I'm telling you, just don't let the naysayers bring you down. I like that. You got to take some risks because there's I know there's like a comfort in being comfortable all the time. But with oh, yeah. big life changes, it's exciting to kind of embrace the unknown, which is helpful in your future moving forward. And in your book, The Legacy Letters, you provide life lessons for all generations with an emphasis on how writing can be impactful in many ways. And you kind of touched on this a little bit. But how does this apply to graduates? What should they be writing? Yeah, <laughs> I got to, I was fortunate, I got to start something called National Thank You Letter Day in which we created the world's largest handwritten thank you letter. 
Um, it's on November 14th. It's coming up this year. And I got we got we want to get us record for it. But the reason I'm saying this is because I'm a big fan of thank you letters. And if there's one thing you can do is it's part of creating gratitude in your life. And I think it's a very, very easy way. Anytime someone does something for you, yeah. um, especially in your cohort or your team of people that are helping you get through this time, send them instead of a text, instead of an email, send them a quick note. And guess what? People love, love to receive a piece of paper with your name on it and says, thank you for doing what you do. Yeah. So again, it's a very, very simple way of creating gratitude and giving back to others, which is another wonderful way that. to- yeah, and yeah. like you mentioned, or having a written letter, it's so personalized. Okay, I have to ask you real quick. You said you were a UC grad, so who's yes. your alma mater? Who's your? Where did you graduate from? Okay, go Bruins. All UCLA. right, <laughs> you're a Bruin. I'm an Otter, so go Bruins and Otters. Karu, thank you so much you for it. joining us. <laughs> you can find Karu's award-winning book, The Legacy Letters: His Wife, His Children, His Final Gift, on Amazon.com. If your indoor air quality is just so-so and your AC unit seems to be circulating kind of just that stale room temperature air, you might want to boss up and get your HVAC system the tune-up it needs. Big Mountain Heating and Air provides energy efficient services to help keep your HVAC system in tip-top shape year-round. Here with more is Baron Larson. Hey, Baron. Hi, Desiree. Welcome back. Thank Missed you. you last I week. know, you know, New York was good for me, but I'm glad I'm back in Cali. There you go. <laughs> So Baron, when it's, I mean, hotter than a jalapeno or on a summer's day or colder than an ice cube when it's winter, <laughs> what's the biggest reason our HVAC systems kind of go kaput? Well, I'm glad you mentioned both of those, cold and hot, cold. because we can service both <laughs> all in one and uh, we do it here at a special price. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, you know, we got Father's Day coming up. We Depends do. on when this airs. But uh, yeah, Father's <laughs> Day's coming up, and I got, you know, you want to be patting yourself on the back if you have a problem with your heating and air conditioning system. And uh, Dad gets a special gift. The breakdown happens, uh -huh. winter or summer. And remember, Desiree bought Dad. A two-for-one rejuvenation for go. Father's Day. So you're patting yourself on the back. There we we can help you out there. Yeah. And that's for both seasons, like I said, uh, because it is a two-for-one. Uh, uh, but the biggest breakdown, i got to answer your question here, really is dirt, and we yeah. like to emphasize that here because uh, it's, uh, it, it's a simple concept, mm -hmm. but people oftentimes don't realize taking care of their system pays back huge dividends because dirt really does uh, uh, play havoc with our systems. You see it floating around in the house. Yeah. Uh, of course, we know it's outside, but then when it's floating around in the house and you're running your system, the air goes through that filter. It gets caught, we hope, all of it, but it doesn't get all of it. It gets through, if you got a dog or a cat in the house, it also uh, triggers allergies for f people that are really sensitive mm. to uh, indoor air quality. And of course, uh, that's unhealthy. It plays into energy overpayment to the utility company, dirt. Mm -hmm. uh, it plays into the uh, uh, breaking down of the system. Uh, it plays into health. It plays into just a ton of things. Yeah. And I mean, I'm noticing too, I mean, one of the annoying things that can happen with your AC unit is you have it on, you're blasting, you think you're blasting cold air, but it's just kind of that room temperature air, which really emphasizes on why we need to maintain it. So how does Big Mountain remain a cut above the rest in maintaining people's HVAC and air conditioning units? Really in a lot of ways, because uh, uh, we don't just tune up one for one season, then later we're approaching you to tune up again for another season. It's two for one. We mm -hmm. do uh, uh, a guarantee uh, that it's not gonna break down on you all year long, yeah. and uh, or the service is gonna be free. Uh, it's very comprehensive in the sense that we're spending two and three hours at your home at a loss leader pricing that uh, we win yeah. and you win because we can gain you as a customer for life if we can prove to you that we're different and that we really are uh, what we say we are. 
and uh, uh, of course you win because you get a special price and a guarantee against the breakdown both winter and summer. Uh, uh, those are a couple of the unique things. Yeah. It's not the only unique things uh, that we do, but uh, uh, yeah, uh, to take Come advantage on. for Father's Day. There we go. There and you that go. special offer you have just in time for Father's Day, what is that? Yeah, first 10 callers, we offer this no place else but on your California life, this price point. Uh, $69 if you're one of the first 10 callers. We do now service uh, Santa, uh, um, San Joaquin and Solano counties, which we didn't before. So if you got turned yeah. down, uh, before, give us a call mm -hmm. and we'll get you on the schedule. And uh, believe me, uh, you'll be glad you did if you call before you have a problem. It just gets rid of all of that frustrations of uh, who do we call? Right. Exactly. Yeah. Great, great, great gift for ourselves and a great gift for Dad. Baron, always a pleasure. Likewise. Thank you, Desiree. <laughs> you bet. And you can beat the heat and visit bigmountainair.com for the details on all their heating and air services. YCL will be back in a flash. SG Carpet and more, where quality is affordable. Dad? I was the lead singer. Packing tape is like roadside assistance. Quality matters. So join AAA, America's most recommended roadside service. I got hurt in a car accident. I need a lawyer, but I can't afford one. I'm flat broke. My brother and I decided we'd never charge anything up front to start working on your case. Call us. We're, We're the, the Law Brothers. Brothers. Call now or visit lawbrothers.com. I don't think it's any secret that Boot Barn's one of the finest boot manufacturers in the industry. For a boot to last you a lifetime, you've got to properly build the boots. Our objective is to build the perfect boot. Hand craftsmanship is, in my opinion, the only way you're gonna achieve that. We've been hand crafting boots since day one and will continue to do so. Car accident? Here's reason number two why you should call Ashton and Price. There is never a fee until we win. So what does that tell you? The attorneys at Ashton and Price win a lot. Injured? For the best advice, don't think twice. Call Ashton and Price. Hunger Root is here. I'm gonna open the box. And my refrigerator is packed. When I was broadsided by that truck, I didn't know where to turn. Thankfully, I found the injury attorneys at BD&J. They were so responsive and understanding when I needed it most. The personal injury attorneys at BD&J have recovered over $1 billion for their clients. We work hard to get the money you deserve. Their hard work helped me recover and get to my daughter's graduation. Call BD&J at 1-800-820-1111 today. A garden hose is like roadside assistance. Quality matters. So join AAA, America's most recommended roadside service. The View is the place to come for a hot topics and hot takes. That's why it's called the what? The, the View. view. <laughs> and this week, Hannah Waddingham and Anthony Anderson and his mom, Doris, hit America's number one daytime talk show, ABC's The View. Have you ever had that gut feeling, questioning if something's right or wrong? Some call it intuition. Our next guest has harnessed her inner spiritual resources to better tune in to that sixth sense. Today, we're opening our minds to an enlightening discussion with Ebony Banks, an intuitive healer. Hello, Ebony. Hello, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm excited to talk to you about this topic because I think this is something a lot of people have related to or felt. So people struggle to kind of recognize and utilize their intuition in daily life. How can we befriend our other intelligence and harness the power of our intuition? Those are all very good questions. And, you know, the road to really accessing your intuition starts with um, knowing that there are different levels of intuition, right? And it really depends on your relationship with yourself and um, how well and how honest you're being with yourself. Because the beautiful thing about intuition is, you know, it's guidance, right? It guides us to more information. Um, and if we're not being honest with ourselves, then that guidance, you know, cannot guide us. 
So what would you say are your tips for recognizing your intuition and using it in your daily life? Because I've definitely had those feelings where I'm like, ah, eh, and then sometimes I like just push it aside or sometimes I do kind of listen yes. to it. So what would be your advice for that? Yes. And we all do that. And so the key is really about, you know, being present with yourself. And when you are recognizing that you're having that moment where something feels a little off or you're hearing a voice that is maybe not as loud as your thought, but you're still hearing it, to really kind of be present in that moment, pay attention to what is happening, and then allow yourself to just like, you know, invite calm, mm -hmm. right? Which you can do by doing like some deep breaths, but really it's about being present and like being still in that moment to see kind of what is attempting to be communicated to you. I like that, invite calm. And can you share a bit about your yeah. own healing journey and how it became, how it inspired you to become an intuitive healer? Yes, so I've been an intuitive person since I was a child. I was aware of my intuition since I was a child, although I didn't have the language for it, so I didn't call it intuition. Mm -hmm. You know, I just knew that I knew things other people didn't, right? And so um, I was talking about the levels before, and so the way I experience intuition is kind of an advanced level, right? Mm -hmm. And so uh, one way that, um, you know, people can... Um, bring it into their daily life is to really um, start trusting ourselves more, right? And and to stop second guessing things that we second guess all the time. Like if you watered the plant or if you took out the trash or, you know, if you closed your garage, right? Like trusting that you did those things without having to second guess them is a good way. And, um, you know, I'm sorry, I kind of am jumping all over the place, but <laughs> I um, was on this massive healing journey. <laughs> I was on this massive healing journey and I credit my intuition with my ability to heal myself mm -hmm. because I was guided to do all these things that I didn't even like, was not even interested in, but I listened to myself and I did them and they became part of my life, which really helped me, you know, heal myself and completely change my life. So that's really how I've gotten to this place where I want to share all those tools with other people. Yeah. And you mentioned you were able to heal yourself. And when I think of healing, it's so beneficial when we're kind of going through those dark times as well. So how can we find light in the darkness and use it as a catalyst for growth mm -hmm. and transformation? Definitely. Um, not judging it. You know, I mean, being non-judgmental was highly um, effective for me, you know, like just kind of not acknowledging things as good or bad, but just really being present with what was happening in my life and observing myself and then, you know, really allowing um, my intuition to guide me to like what the next step is. Because when we're, when we're having a difficult time and we judge it as bad, you know, and we mm -hmm. kind of like push it away from us, we don't allow ourselves to receive the lesson in those experiences yeah. and to really have a greater understanding of why this thing is happening in our life in the first place, you know? And so, you know, the first step I would say is to be non-judgmental about whatever is happening. Well, Ebony, I'm going to find the calmness like you mentioned, and I'm going to listen to that intuition a lot more now, and I hope our viewers do too. And you can find out more about Ebony's work by going to ebonybanks.me. Hey guys, here I am. I'm at Pixar Animation Studios. Luckily, Desiree let me out the booth today, and I'm going to give you an inside look at Elemental. Meet the residents of Element City. Well, we all live by one simple rule. Elements cannot mix. Hey! This is kind of based on your life growing up in New York. Yeah. Can you talk about how personal this was in making the film, but also you got a lot of people yeah. coming in. Was that hard to put it put what your idea was along with everybody else to paper? Yeah, Julian, that's a great question. I mean, it all started from a very personal place just because, look, I had went to this ev event uh, um, eight years ago in New York where I got to thank my parents for all the sacrifices that they made. As an adult now, I'm like, how did they do this without speaking the language? How did they do this without any money? How did they make a life for us? And that act of appreciation was the heart of this thing. And so, but Denise had us talk to a lot of coworkers that also connected to that heart. But why they connected? Because they had very similar experiences that they were sharing and all of that got into the film in a way that we just wanted to, you know, honor all of that. I've been trying to fill my father's shoes. But I never once asked what I wanted to do. Can you describe the emotions that went through you guys once you found out you were going to be part of this film? <sighs> Gratitude. Yeah. Gratitude 
in the highest, highest form of vulnerable emotion. Tears, basically. Fancy way to say, tears. Talking to Pete, I knew this was like a really special project. Out of everything that I would have ever wanted to do, this is the one I wanted to get. Like, I knew I wanted this project um, because of what it meant to me. Can you describe the emotions that go into this and getting to put this out there for the world? I mean, it's, we talk about it a lot, but it's very much like raising a child. You all of a sudden feel the people coming in to take the child away from you. Right. You know, and it's just like, you're kind of, like, you feel very protective of the child. And I've got a viewer question if you guys Ooh. don't mind. Please. Uh, it's kind of a two-parter. All right. Okay. So get ready. What makes you turn into fire? What makes you lose the crying game? I can be explosive sometimes. <laughs> I was like, I think I everybody that? can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can. I can take up some space sometimes for sure. Maybe we play the crying game. Let me guess. You try to cry. We try not to cry. Well, this movie will make me lose the crying game every single time. Yes. Um, like when people just do something for, just for the like sake of doing it and say, "I am happy for you." Oh, that stuff really just it gets me every time. <laughs> Seriously? Oh man, we gotta let Julian out the booth more often because he's doing a great job. Julian, thank you for that. And you can grab your popcorn. Disney and Pixar's Elemental is released in theaters this Friday. We'll have more YCL in a sec. Only on ABC 10, we start every day with the same questions. What's happening in our community? What voices need to be heard? What story needs more attention? Who needs to be held accountable? Every day, every newscast, every story. Working hard to stand for you. ABC 10 News at 6, the area's most awarded local news. We start tonight with a special investigation you'll only see here on ABC 10. You're finally ready to upgrade the windows and patio doors in your home, but you just keep thinking, I just wish I could choose a company that would make it easy. I'm from Renewal by Anderson, and then we have the most hassle-free way to get this project done for you. With some other companies, you're dealing with a bunch of different people, and when something goes wrong, the finger pointing begins. It's their fault. No, it's their fault. We manage the consultation, the manufacturing, the installing, and the warranties. No middleman, no finger pointing. Something else that makes us different, we're really good at making the project affordable. One way is with our great financing options. We have a lot of customers who are going to pay cash, but because our programs are so good, they decided to finance instead. And a lot of our customers actually pay off their project early. Now, see this? This is what you might get with other window installers. If this is how their installer cares for your windows, how will they care for your home? We're Renewal by Anderson, the replacement window division of Anderson. Based on their years of experience, our certified master installers are carefully selected and then pass through an intense classroom and field training program. And that training really pays off for you because oftentimes your installation can be completed in just one day. And that includes vacuuming their way out of your house. We're the replacement window division of Anderson, the most recommended brand of windows in the country. Give us a call. What my neighbors told me was that Renewal by Anderson did the best work for them. And they came and they did what they said they were going to do, and they were very happy with the outcome. I'm very happy with the product. Before June 30th, buy one window or patio door and get the next one 40% off. That's 40% off. And our financing can help make this project more affordable. Make no payments and pay no interest for one year. This offer ends June 30th. For a free appointment with Renewal by Anderson, call 916-260-0909. Road trips are a fantastic way to explore, but nothing puts a speed bump on your summer adventure like unexpected vehicle issues. I hate when that happens. That's why we have an automotive service excellence certified mechanic and shop owner joining us with her essential tips for hassle-free road trips. Let's welcome Audra Fordin. Audra, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Desiree, for having me here. I'm super excited to be joining you at the Haviland Express Lube in Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay, that's exciting. And I mean, we were just talking about so many people are planning to hit the road for those summer road trips. What are some easy and preventative measures drivers should take before embarking on these road trips this summer? 
great tips for you today, starting with like visibility. You need to see and people need to see you. And headlights, because they're made of plastic, they seem to oxidize and there's a film over those headlights. You can easily clean that off yourself with a headlight restoration kit. It's something you could pick up like online or at your local auto parts store. Okay, yep, good. Another great tip yeah. is to check your tires. Yeah, the side wall of the tires, it looks like it's got hieroglyphics on it to even know what it says, but specifically on there is the manufacturer's birth date. Yes, tires have a birth date on them, and it shows you in weeks and the year. So also looking at the side wall, um, well, tires last three to five years. So if you fall into that time span, then you need to replace them. And then if you see any tears, cracks, or bulges on the sidewall, it is definitely time to replace those tires because that's a potential blowout that's mm -hmm. waiting to happen. Yeah. And also, you know, people come into my auto shop all the time and they're like, oh, can you give my car a quick look once over? And, you know, realistically, if you're going on a road trip, you want to make sure that your car is going to be safe for you. Mm -hmm. So be specific. Ask them to check your filters and your fluids and your battery and your belt and the hoses. Those are things that are going to cause you trouble on the road, okay. specifically. That's good to know. I just got my little notice in the mail saying it's time for your vehicle checkup just to have it serviced, make sure it's good to go. And I've kind of been putting it off, but now you're making me realize I need to make sure I pay attention to that. And whether it's a new car or a bit older, how can drivers maximize the performance of their vehicles? So there's a few things to do to maximize the performance. First one is to actually keep your fuel system clean. It's gonna be a great way to save money at the pumps by maintaining the fuel system. I, I recommend the Tecron Complete Fuel System Cleaner because it cleans and protects your entire fuel system. Also, motor oil. Be sure if you're due for an oil change to change your motor oil. And if you're not sure, it's easy to check yourself. You can open up the hood, pull up the oil dipstick and take a look at it. If the color is not golden or the fluid does not reach that you know, max line, then it's time to change your oil. And I like to recommend using the Havilon Life Long because it gives you outstanding performance for your vehicle, regardless of what mileage or stage of life your vehicle is at. And by the way, it comes with a smart packaging, recyclable, it reduces plastic waste 70% compared to cord oh. bottles. Oh, wow, that's good yep. to know. And you know, I can say I have checked my oil too, so us ladies can do it. And Andre, you're passionate about teaching women automotive maintenance. Can you tell us what motivated you to spread car care tips Absolutely. and your work to empower female drivers? Thank you so much for saying that. You know, there are so many different options when you go out there to see what you can use. And Havilland comes with different kinds of um, motor oil options. They have this full synthetic. And when you're environmentally concerned, you know, they, they have different kinds of um, ways to make the oil so that it's good for your wallet, it's good for the environment, yeah. and it's great for your vehicle. All right, good to know. Thank you so much for joining us today. To get your car ready for the road, check out Havilland.com and to protect your engine for a smooth trip, go to TecronClean.com. Hey, thanks for joining us today on Your California Life. I hope you find joy in your day. Until then, we will see you right back here weekday mornings at 9 a.m. You take care, go check on your car.